Hello and welcome back. Just as while we took some diversions to Penile and elsewhere lately because the news has been really hard. <laughs> His presence is hell on earth and they've taken to next door to voice their complaints. Llamas always bring joy. Have you ever heard about a shit llama? I haven't. I love the commitment. Oh, but no cleavage. Perfume makers that can't smell a thing. I have to say that would explain a lot. What positive connotation could there possibly be to having a noose in your logo? It is staring into the depths of my soul and I'm not sure if I'm comfortable. Yeah, I've, I've, tr I've checked every day slash every hour of the day because that's just what I do uh, with my time. Oh dear. But it's just been too difficult. Just nothing funny. Nothing even unintentionally funny. But I thought we'd try again today. I did see yesterday, uh, or the day before, I can't remember now, every day's a blur, that my local news um, had a facelift on their homepage. So I thought we'd celebrate by maybe starting there and avoiding BBC. Let's give that a go. I, I have faith um, because their website was so arse before. So I'm really glad they've updated it. Let's Let's give it a go. That is not the new website. What the hell is this? Okay, maybe I have to get out of guest mode. Hang on. Fantastic. We've now logged in officially. So let's try this again. Yes, the new one. Look how much better that is. I can't help but not ignore feral peacock in Bay Area neighborhood insights next door battle. If you've never used next door, it is a sort of social media styled app for your neighborhood, but lately, um, rather than being the neighborly destination it should be, it has become kind of insane. It has become an absolute war zone. And you know, they'll they'll fight about anything. They'll even fight about the feral peacock. Oh, it goes to the old website when you open an article. That's so crappy. He has screamed relentlessly. Feral peacock divides Oakland neighborhood. Down a short cul-de-sac in North Oakland, an unusual blue and green feathered neighbor has recently moved into someone's yard. His name is Bruce or Paco or Peter or Pio Abraham. Okay. That's a very strange uh, selection. For a few, his presence is hell on earth and they've taken to Nextdoor to voice their complaints. Basically, Nextdoor is the capital of Karens. Fuck you! Ooh. Fuck you! I think, personally. It got so bad that two months ago I had to move out of my street-facing bedroom and into my middle bedroom storage room. Oh, what? Really? What does a peacock screaming sound like? Peacock sound. Wow. Yep. Okay. Uh, you know, maybe I'm on the fence on this one. At 4, 5, 6 a.m. Yeah. No action was taken to relocate the bird. Why? He's cool and everything. And I think it's fun for a couple days to have the neighborhood peacock. But if he's keeping people up at four o'clock in the morning, I would not be okay with that. Airbnb asks people to donate to landlords. No, come on. Today we're introducing a new way to connect with your favorite host. Now you can create personalized kindness cards that make it easy to send a message of appreciation or encouragement with an option to add a contribution. So we're supposed to donate to people who own property? Possibly more than one property? Wow, that is out of touch. I can't even afford one house. Hashtag relatable. Fridge is full of free food. Pop up around Oakland. That's good, that's lovely. No music, no Hawaii, no end in sight. Nice. NorCal City may remove noose from its logo. Let's step back a minute. Why would you have a noose in your logo? What positive connotation could there possibly be to having a noose in your logo? Let's find out. Wow, and it is. There is literally a noose in the background. The symbolism harkens back to the 19th century when Placeville, formerly Hangtown and Old Dry Diggins, developed a reputation for speedy capital punishment. And that was a point of pride? The town began being called Hangtown following an incident in 1814. Three men intending to relieve him of his winnings jumped him, but he was able to fight them off with the help of townspeople who came to his aid. Soon the thieves were captured. In addition to the attempted robbery, the trio were accused of being wanted for murder. The trial lasted all of 30 minutes. A mob demanded death by hanging after a unanimous guilty verdict was read. Not much going on in that town, I guess. That's a bit weird. I kind of get why it's there, but it's still pretty weird that it was there this long. <sighs> what else? Postal service memos detail difficult changes and slower mail. If it's any slower, I'll be sending the mail I'm supposed to receive. 
but okay. The size of the ad that's loading is making me uncomfortable. Oh, it went away. Good. Okay. Well, this was, um, this was interesting, I guess. Let's, um, let's be bold and try the beep again. I am not going to say we're going to be lucky, but let's try. Amazon's hand washing policy in Spotlight. What is their policy? Amazon has defended its coronavirus safety policies as workers in New York prepare to take it to court. Among their demands is extra time to wash their hands. They don't have time to wash their hands. Everybody who orders from Amazon right now is thinking about every package they've ever opened. Okay, well, I may have been a bit um, overexcited by the feral peacock and other amusements we found locally. It's not as fun here. Perfume makers that can't smell a thing. I have to say that would explain a lot of perfumes I've smelled in airports. You know, when you're passing time at duty free, if you've got a while before your next flight, you'll just end up having a sniff. Some of them are so abhorrent. I don't know how anybody ever smelled that and went, yep, let's sell that one. That one will do well on the market. That's kind of interesting. They're using machine machine learning to put together ingredients that might make good fragrances. I would be interested to sniff a robot made scent. Might actually be better than a human one. Banksy Don's cleaner disguised to spray paint tube. Nice. What if it wasn't Banksy? <laughs> Oh no, it was, it clearly was. Heard insulted Depp on Bahamas trip. What are they even fighting about again? I, I, this case is so bizarre. Amber Heard insulted Johnny Depp during a Christmas time trip to the Bahamas, his estate manager has claimed. Tara Roberts told London's High Court that Miss Heard 34 called Mr. Depp washed up and fat. Okay. I love that an article was made about this. The fact that she called him washed up and fat has quite literally made a headline. They'll make the news out of anything. This article has been sitting here on BBC for far too long. It's time to go. We've all read it. We've read it for months. Please put something else. Will women have to work harder after the pandemic? I sincerely hope not. Nobody should have to work harder after the pandemic. We should just all work less and get paid a bit more. I think that's a sound idea. What makes people stop caring? Greed and disconnect. Another one I've answered. There you go. Done. Don't need to click on it. Suspect in US missing soldier case took own life. Well, that one's also answered. The record breaking jet which still haunts a country. Like they see ghosts of it flying around? No, nope, I'm bored. I'm not interested. To be honest, we haven't been to entertainment and arts in a while. Care home residents recreate classic LP covers. Oh, that's fun. Oh my God, that's hysterical. Residents and carers at a North London care home have been recreating classic album covers to keep themselves occupied during the lockdown. What? Let me see this. Vera 93. <laughs> Why didn't they put born in the UK? They could have made that a bit more accurate. And the carers. <laughs> Oh, there are more. Oh, there are more. Oh, good. Go, Sheila. Go, Sheila, you saucy wench. God, Sheila is killing it. This is such a great idea. Oh my God, I love these. I love these so much. Yes. This is iconic. Oh my God, they even put a blue butterfly on her arm. I love the commitment. Oh, but no cleavage. Oh my God, they almost drew all the tattoos. That's commitment. Love these, they should do calendar or something with it. They honestly should, I would buy that. Rag and Bone Man is her hero. And she met him, bless. Pensioner 92 has giant wish fulfilled meeting Rag and Bone Man. What a legend. Why is he barefoot? Very strange. Nice, this was good. They really should make a calendar. I would absolutely buy it. Sculptor's widow donates quirky art to school. Is that a pig? Oh my, oh my, I, oh. Uh, it is staring into the depths of my soul and I'm not sure if I'm comfortable. Quirky in quotes. Yes. Um, quirky, yes. And at first glance, quite cute. And then you look at it longer and then you feel exposed. You know, I don't know if they're just not lit well or... Oh, that one's cool. Oh, he's got glasses. Oh, that's nice. Old man and greyhound. Mmm, yeah, that's an odd one. I like, I like the bespectacled chicken, but um, the rest, this one's seen some shit. What about science? Hope and ambition drive UAE's Mars mission. And money. Also money. Coronavirus. Llamas provide key to immune therapy. Therapy. Llamas specially evolved. Small antibodies are the basis for a coronavirus treatment breakthrough. Llamas always bringing joy. Have you ever heard about a shit llama? I haven't. Llamas are just a beacon of success, really. Condor birds flap wings just 1% of the time. One bird flew 100 miles in five hours without flapping. I'm impressed. That is maximum efficiency. Imagine just cruising with a view. God, I've been stuck in my apartment too long. Stargazers have been urged to view the comet. It's your national duty. Oh, we'll not be coming back for another 6,800 years. That is rare. Okay, well, 
I guess that's it for now. We did rather well today. This went much better than expected. I want to click on US and Canada. I really want to click on it, but I don't know if I should. Let's click on it. Yep, I regret it. I regret it. That was a bad decision. Anyway, I am very glad to have found some things here to share and uh, we will continue adventuring on. So please drop a like um, if you enjoyed this little adventure and subscribe as well. That would be really lovely. And um, that's it. Adventure on and see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>